स्थान ग्रहण करता हूँ धन्यवाद शुभम भवतु यात्रायाम यात्राएं जारी रहे राजीव गोड़ा जी थैंक यू वाइस चेयरमैन सर आई हैव फाइव मिनट्स सो आई स्टिक टू फाइव मेन पॉइंट्स सर टुडे इज द डेथ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ द ट्रैजिक डेथ ऑफ श्री दीनदयाल उपाध्याय एंड बीजेपी ऑलवेज टॉक्स अबाउट अंत्योदया एज द फिलोसफी ऑफ दीनदयाल उपाध्याय जी सर वॉट इज देयर इन दिस बजट that reflects that concern i want to ask sir recently there was a survey that showed that consumer expenditures have dropped 8.8% in rural india for the first time in indian history poverty is worsening malnutrition is worsening and what does this government do when we are 102nd on the global hunger index they slash food subsidies in this budget they cut manrega funding which is a social safety net for the poorest of the poor what they go to and turn to when they are desperate and further they don't release those funds in time to states to pay those people who to whom this money is already due even their new found love for refugees the funding for refugees and rehabilitation has been cut by 78.6% sir so, they talk about aspirational they talk about caring so what is the story about investment in human capital education budgets the share of money going to education as a share of government expenditure was 4.14% in 2014 now it is 3.3% is this how we are building for the future in real terms there is no increase from last year to this year there is this whole new education policy and for that there is no funding that's visible beti bachao beti padhao another empty slogan for that last year's budget estimates at 280 crores this year's budget estimates it's come down to 220 crores we want to improve the quality of education and train teachers the malviya teacher training initiative that is down 62% from 130 crores to 50 uh, 50 crores what about digital india sir? another term that's often parroted that has come down by 23% and funding for research and innovation has also come down by 50% so it, what does that mean in terms of investment in the future it's a real tragedy so some of my colleagues have already covered a range of topics but i want to further highlight the issue of what happens to states we are the council of states and what this government is doing in terms of the terms and conditions of the 15th finance commission and the manner in which funds are sought to be collected through cesses which are not shared with states all these result in less and less money only 30% of overall revenues going to the states so this basically means that while you try here to maintain fiscal deficit some kind of control over fiscal deficits you're actually passing on that burden to states states are where most of the implementation takes place the overall national government deficit center and states is increasing and that will hurt the economy going forward so the finance minister has the good fortune of being elected from my state of karnataka and what is the gratitude that is shown to karnataka in this budget after years we had fought for my native district of kolar to get a railway coach factory so that has been replaced in this budget with a repair workshop if a repair workshop is what the bjp considers to be a coach factory i do not know what world they're living in this is part of their sale of the uh, railways that they're first focusing on across party lines from bengaluru we've been fighting for suburban rail the 1600 crores was announced in the budget in the railway focus pink book only 1 crore can be found what is going on who are you trying to fool and that is to the most productive city which adds so much to our gdp so in the economic survey there was a whole chapter on trust trust is vital because only when there is confidence will there be investment and growth so this government and its budget suffers from a trust deficit a credibility deficit there is a massive infrastructure announcement 103 lakh crores as a national infrastructure pipeline so that is not a pipeline it's a pipe dream in this the government is only putting in 12500 crores in the kind of environment that we're in today where the revenues of india inc is down 
the lowest in 16 quarters, when capacity utilization is extremely low, where are they going to find the private resources or the foreign resources to make up for that little amount that the government is putting in for infrastructure? Consumer confidence is at its worst in five years, sir. And overall, the largest problem is with data. If you don't have proper numbers, if you cannot uh, you know, have something to guide you. How are you going to prepare a budget? How are you going to take India forward? We are caught in a web of deceit as far as this government and its numbers are concerned. And ultimately, sir, this is a very, very tragic time. In the economic survey, they had a whole section on thalinomics, and they tried to fool us, saying that the price is remaining the same. No, the amount of food is coming down, and soon under this government, People's thali will be khali. Thank you very much. Thank you.